What's going on guys? Chad Christopher here. Thank you for tuning in. We've got a little bit of an old fashioned style vlog going on today, uh, just with the handheld camera and you know, whatever, setting it up on tripods and stuff. Kyle is busy, so I don't have the luxury of having someone film me, but this is a video I had to get out. As you can tell from the title, we, uh, we made that first step into the woodworking world. And I'm stoked to show you what I picked up. I gotta head out to the studio to do that. Before we head out to the studio, a couple things that I wanna talk about. First up, check this bad boy out. This thing came today. Woo-wee! That's that iPhone 11 Pro in midnight green. Stoked on that thing. Um, next week, we have a very special package coming from Springfield. Voltex sending out a life pod, so we got a lot of good stuff coming up. One last thing I wanna show you before we head to the studio, but it's outside, so let's go check that out first. Now, it's kinda hard to tell. I waited too long, it's pretty dark out here, whatever. Uh, but the truck got some upgrades, man. The truck got some love recently. So, we put some new tires on, some like, I don't know, the Toyo or something like that. Kind of just a nice mid-grade tire with some tread. Then we got the X-Tang Trifold, I think Tanu, I think is how you say it? The hard cover up here. I need all that stuff for my gun stuff, for my targets, for my cameras. And then on the inside, Rhino liner in here. The thing is, you can kind of see over here, in fact, See all those like, I got those action targets, steel targets, gongs, all that stuff, two by fours. Whenever we load that into the back, this thing got way scratched up. So I'm stoked that I got something to protect this thing a little bit. We're headed out to the studio now and uh, we got a lot of stuff to unbox. So let's get to it. Woo, that's a lot of boxes. Okay, so here's the deal. I was going to just film my, my first build in this new woodworking uh, journey that I'm going on and, and release that as the first video, but I don't know, I felt like there was, there needed to be like a, like a transitionary video, you know, like I thought that it would be cool at least to show you what I picked up. I went to Home Depot recently with a good friend and someone who has a lot of experience in the building world. He, I mean, he built this studio that I'm in right now, he's actually my landlord. Um, you know, his first job was framing houses when he was 16 or something like that. He owned a business doing steel fab for tons of years. So the guy really knows his way around tools. So I'm grateful to him for kind of, you know, giving me the rundown and giving me an idea on some tools. So like the title says, I mean, can I just like set this up up here? It's getting heavy. So I just dropped 15, over $1,500 at Home Depot. I went in there like hoping to spend less than a grand. And he's like, you just kept throwing stuff in the cart. So I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna show you each thing that I got. Uh, my first building project, I need to get done within a week for reasons I'll go into in a little bit later. Uh, but just know that uh, I, I plan to pimp this place out to, to like, be a proper workshop, but come check out what we picked up. Okay, so first thing is obviously I need myself a good saw. So we picked up a rigid dual bevel miter saw, 12 inch. Uh, this thing was, I wanna say a little over 300 bucks, maybe like 320 or so. Uh, I also picked up a, a proper stand for it, the matching stand. Apparently, uh, you know, this thing just makes life so much easier. This was about 200 bucks. The next thing that he really recommended I, I get was one of these. So he's a big Milwaukee fan. Apparently they make some pretty good stuff. Uh, I got a, a, a kit here that came with, a, you can kind of see right there. It's got a hammer drill driver. We've got a uh, impact driver, some batteries in a case. This was like 320 or something. That thing was pretty pricey. Right here, we grabbed a matching Milwaukee uh, jigsaw so I can make some little bit finer cuts and things like that. That was uh, I don't know, 100, 200, I don't know. It was something like that. He was actually, he gifted me this, which was really cool of him, a DeWalt uh, grinder here with a couple little attachments. I have no idea how to use that, but he said it's something that you absolutely need, and he happened to have an extra one lying around, so he just hooked me up with that, so big shout out to him. Uh, obviously a little accessories kit here. We got some triangles. I have no idea how to use these, but once again, he said you can't build anything properly without those, so there you go. Uh, what do we got here? Oh yeah, we got a Milwaukee random orbit sander. So all these are all cordless. They all run off batteries and they all run off the same batteries. So that's why I wanted to stick with one company and he said Milwaukee's kind of the, you know, it's kind of the standard. Uh, he had a lot of good things to say about this hammer. I, I don't know anything about hammers. I mean, other than, you know, you pound in nails with them, but <laughs> this thing's pretty hardcore. He said heart is the way to go. You've got some like you know, it'll hold the base of the nail right up there. It's got a magnet on the 
top right there so you don't have to like hold the nail and hit it. Uh, obviously, you know, you've got a way to pull nails right there and with that claw. We got us a, a shop vac, keep this place a little bit clean. That's one thing that I'm gonna have to figure out in here though is, you know, obviously I've got camera stuff. I'm probably gonna move all that out. I've got my reloading gear. Oh, he moved out the reloading gear, nice. There's gonna be sawdust, so we need to figure that out as we go. Obviously some sort of air filtration device. Um, and then we just got a bunch of random accessories. For the majority of the costs, that's it. I kind of lost my, I was trying to give you guys prices on everything I bought, but I kind of lost that halfway through there. Um, that DeWalt grinder was like a hundred bucks or something. Again, he, he gave that to me. Uh, I, I want to say the jig was like 200, sander maybe like 130, something like that. Shop vac was a hundred bucks. So yeah, like I said, we added up to like $1,600 or something by the time we were all said and done. So a pricey little thing, and I still don't have a circular saw, like a skill saw. Uh, that's one thing I absolutely still need to pick up. But uh, yeah, man, I'm excited to get all this unboxed. Let's start uh, cutting some tape, man. Okay, that was like a 45 minute job that if you knew what you were doing would probably take you like three minutes. That stand is freaking heavy duty, man. Whoa, Okay. All right, there's the saw. All right, I think we got this saw all figured out now. We got the blade in there, everything's looking good. All right, just to show you what we're working with. This is that M18 fuel kit. Uh, yeah, man, these things are sick. They're the fuel brushless system. So they're really small, they're really light and compact. Tons and tons of power and torque. And here is the jigsaw. Once again, Milwaukee fuel, as I said, brushless. The orbital sander, Milwaukee once again. One thing is, these don't come with any batteries. Like, I got, I think, two batteries in that, uh, that pack and then I think I got one extra one. So I have three batteries, but if I bought these things for like $200 or whatever and they didn't have a battery, I'd be pissed. Next up is the DeWalt small angle grinder. Um, yeah, man, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use this for, but my homie said that I'm gonna be using this every day. So I guess we'll find out. So here's pretty much all the rest of the accessories. Uh, we've got some batteries, a socket adapter. We've got the, the pouch two different size measuring tapes, a pencil with a nice like uh, sharpener adapter for the drill. <laughs> um, we've got a level, uh, some wood glue, those DeWalt clamps, a heart hammer, and then two different size squares. So besides that, I mean, we've got the shop back. I need to get that set up, but it's getting late. I kind of want to get out of here. My first uh, project I'm hoping to finish up this week is a set of cornhole boards. Now, if you're not familiar with cornhole boards, um, it's just a game where you throw like a bean bag and try and get it in a little like a six inch hole. So it's, uh, yeah, it's my birthday. It's my 30th birthday next week. We got a cabin up in Bear Lake. So I wanted to build these for the family to go up there and play. So that's my goal. Um, we'll see if it happens. Like it was, it was difficult just putting all this stuff together for me, <laughs> let alone building this stuff. I'm no handyman. That is, has been made very clear by my attempts at putting all this together tonight. I need to build a, a really big, nice uh, work table. So that will probably be my second uh, undertaking. So over here is kind of what I'm looking at. Obviously all this stuff won't be there. I think I'll probably put up maybe some sort of tool wall right there to be able to hang all the uh, handheld stuff up there. We've got these two little things here. I'm gonna have probably the miter over here uh, on its, its table set up and uh, yeah, man, I don't know, like this stuff is really nice. This hold up displays that I had for my guns. Um, maybe I could hit them up and, you know, maybe get some more of these or something like that and set those up to hold tools or something. So that's what we're working with, man. I'm excited to get this first project done, get a little more confidence on these things. And then, uh, you know, building my first like big proper work table, like something that can hold four by eight sheets or something like that, I think will be, uh, that'll be a really good undertaking. So. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if so, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you're thinking. The next videos coming up are gonna be that cornhole one, but I, like I said also, we've got a video coming out on that Hellcat, that Springfield Hellcat. Is that what it's called? Hell, is that what it is? I don't know what it's called. It's, it's uh, yeah, I think that's what it is though, the Hellcat. Um, the nine mil, that's kind of like a 365, holds lots of rounds, holds 11 plus one in the flush mag and 
13 plus one in the extended. So I think it's the highest capacity in its size range, which is really cool. Uh, we got the Voltec Life Pod coming up. So all sorts of cool stuff. Um, yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you next time on Chad Christopher. Thanks for hanging out. Peace out.